Hi and welcome to this tutorial on calculating the age of a person from a birth date. My name is Ian Littlejohn from ExcelBusinessIntelligence.com. Now this is a common requirement in human resource data where we want to calculate somebody's age from the birth date. So as you can see in this little example we've got at the moment, we've got a birth date at the moment and I've got today's date that we're currently working with. Now if we were just to do a simple formula and just say we want to calculate say the difference between today's date and the birth date, I could just say D2 minus C2 and it would come back with 10,262. Now this is actually the number of days difference between the two dates. Now that's not particularly useful to me because I actually want to know the number of years difference. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to use a formula that actually allows us to calculate the number of years. Now this is an undocumented Excel formula, it's called equals dated if. So I'm going to start typing in equals dated and you'll see that it doesn't actually uh, appear in the list of Excel formulas. However, it's there and it's very powerful, it does work. Not sure why uh, Microsoft actually haven't uh, implemented it. But um, okay, so it's equal dated if we open up the bracket and now you see that there is a recognition that there is actually something there. But it doesn't give us any direction in terms of what needs to go in there. So the first part that goes in there is actually the earliest date. So in this case, my birth date is going to be before today. So I'm going to use that. So I'm going to say my input is for my beginning date is C2. I'm going to say comma. And then I'm actually going to say today as my formula. So you'll see that the today formula does come up. Can double click on that. And then we just want to close that, that bracket. So the great thing is with this formula now is that once you've put it in to calculate the age, is it will always uh, calculate the age whenever you open up the spreadsheet. So if somebody's birthday is tomorrow, tomorrow as we open the spreadsheet, it will calculate an additional year on their, um, on their age. Okay, and the last one, so the, the first input, C2, that's the beginning date, and then we're using the today formula to be the actual uh, second input, so it's calculating between the birth date and today. And then we have to say what is the format that we want the uh, date the age to be returned in. So you can see I'm using the double quotations. I'm going to put a capital Y in there. You can use a big Y or a small Y. It doesn't really matter. And I close the the actual uh, double quotations. Now the reason for the Y is to actually say calculated in years. If I was to use an M, it would come back in months, or a D would calculate the number of days. We'll show that just now. If I press enter now, you see there we go. We have 28. Now because I've got a list of birth dates over here, I can use my autofill, drag that down. And you see that my age is now correctly calculated from the birth date. Now we mentioned just now that we could also calculate say, the number of months. So if I want to know the number of months that the person's been alive for, again I can use the equals data diff. And again we're going to use C2 as the input, comma, up till today, comma, and this time I'm going to use the number of months as the feedback. So I'll have M between my double quotations, close that and it will tell me the person's been alive for 337 months and so on. And the last one is equals dated if again and you should be used to this by now C2 comma today comma and the last option is to use a D for the number of days. Now this should give us the same answer as we calculated in the first one. There we go 10,262. Okay, so in this example here, we've shown you how to use the equals dated if to calculate the number of years between two dates. And as I said, this is particularly useful if you're calculating, say, age, for instance, in human resource data. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for your time.